Scotty, stop deflecting with your songs. MI6 trained you well. Well, I think the M6 as a motorway trains us all well. Because if you don't know your stuff, you shouldn't be driving on it. Free Palestine, so user 332. Well, free Israel as well. And free Scotland. You know? And free Wales. You see? And free England. I think we need to say to... Israel and Palestine, if you don't stop the fighting, we'll not speak to you. So hurry up. So gather the two leaders. So what I would suggest, I'll tell you what would be good. Get Mr. Trump to chair it. I know he's not currently back in the White House, but get him to chair it as an individual and get all the world's powers round the table with both Israel and Palestine, and just read them the riot act of your pardon the uh, the sort of um, what do we call that one? Uh, I'm just trying to think of, of of a term for that one. The oxymoron. <laughs> the oxymoron. If you're bound the oxymoron, uh, you know, actually say to them, stop the fighting. And stop it right now. And if you don't, then we'll just leave the two of you. No support from anyone. Are we all happy with that? And they all, America nodding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's what I would say. I'm English, not Great British. Well, you can't be English without being Great British. It's what we call axiomatic. England is part of Great Britain. Britain, which is a land mass, not a country. So if you're English, mark my words, you are great British. Israel's already occupying the West Bank effectively, backing illegal armed settlers. Well, Derry, there should be no backing. What we need is for somebody to look at the Bible and to look at Isaiah. And Isaiah tells us, and this is all the Jewish people and all the Arabs and the Christian Arabs, everybody should look at Isaiah right now. Follow it with Scotty McClue. And it will say, men shall beat their spears to pruning hooks and their swords to plough shares. In other words, drop all the armaments and use them to grow food. Turn the factories into making pruning hooks and plough shares. Get them round all the kibbutz, all the little farms, and start growing food. Feed the world. The game will just, all oh, the war will just stop. Just stop. You know, so there you go. Anyway, <clears throat> who listens to me? Well, millions do, I know that. But I mean, who actually listens and says, do you know what? Scotty McClue's got a point. <laughs> That's what I say.